trick patterns abound. I'm listening to a poem inspired by human DNA. It's part of an exhibition at the Francis Crick Institute, which is a place full of laboratories that are studying how and why diseases happen in the human body. Some of the patterns the scientists find are very beautiful almost like works of art themselves. So I suppose it makes sense to take that one step further. And to explain more is the curator, Bryony. Uh, so we're looking at a skin cell, I think, here? We are, yeah. As you come into the exhibition, you're going to be encouraged to think about the cells inside your own body. So uh, we're looking at the patterns of the surface of the skin, and then here we're looking at the cells underneath the skin. Some scientists did visit studios, um, which was fascinating for them. Um, got to see the, the, the process as they, the artists developed their concepts and the prototypes. Um, so it's a really lovely exchange between the, the artists and the scientists in this project. Now, by using art and creativity in this way, at the very least, it will help us to see things that normally are too small. Take this little fella here. This is part of a worm that's just one millimetre long. Uh, and it's your life's work, Nate, to study such little things here. <laughs> just tell me what we're looking at. Um, so what we're looking at here are the earliest stages in the development of this worm. And you took this one step further here with a workshop for young people that live uh, and go yeah. to school locally. Yeah, so my lab and I designed this workshop for students to really try to uh, inspire them with these core ideas in development, um, like breaking uniformity, acquiring identity, and it was really, really nice to see how many of those core concepts showed up in the video. And then from worms to fruit flies. One of our artists, Helen, is here. Just tell me what this is. This is a wax anatomical model of a fly brain. I studied the metamorphosis, the transformations of the fly and the patterns of the visual circuit over time. So the patterns that the scientists have found and that the artists have responded to are ones that you will find in your own body as well. It's a fascinating exhibition. It opens on Thursday and it's free.